In this tutorial, I demonstrate how to customize the Windows 8 Metro UI using a non-touch device. So let's get started. The first thing I'd like to mention is the Windows 8 Metro UI is also referred to as the start screen. And the applications that appear on the start screen are referred to as tiles. To resize a tile, right click on the tile and then left click on the sizing option that appear in the bottom menu. Since I right clicked on the male tile which is a larger size, my option is to make the tile smaller. I resize that tile by left clicking on smaller. If I want to make a tile larger, obviously if the tile is smaller, I right click on the tile and then I left click on the sizing option for larger. You do not have the ability to resize every tile that appears on the start screen. Only certain tiles will provide that ability and you will know which tiles they are when you try to right click on them and you check the menu option that appears at the bottom. For example, the weather tile allows me to change the size from large to small or small to large, whereas the file explorer tile does not give me the option to resize its tile. So again, to resize the tile, right click on the tile and pick the applicable sizing option that's available in the menu that appears at the bottom. To move the tiles to a different location within an existing group of tiles, this is a group of tiles, this is another group of tiles, and this is another, this is another group of tiles, I'm sorry, and this is one group of tiles. So on this start screen, we have two separate groups of tiles. If I wanted to reposition a tile within an existing group, I left click on the tile and I drag it to its new location. And as you notice, I'm able to move this tile within the existing group or I can move it to a new group. To move it to a new group, I just drag the tile over and position it under the new group of tiles. And as you notice, I move the reader tile from the larger group of tiles to the smaller group of tiles. If I want to create an entirely new group of tiles, I would drag this tile all the way out to a clear area. Notice the vertical bar that appear. This lets me know I am in a new, locate, a new group area. So I let go of the left mouse and now I have a new group of tiles. So we have one to three group of tiles. Again, to reposition, left click on the tile, drag it to a new location within an existing group, drag it to another group, or drag it to an entirely new group. And you notice that the, the vertical bar appears when you're in an area to create a new group. Next, let's move on to removing tiles from the start screen. To remove a tile, right click on the tile, and then left click on unpin from start and this is the menu at the bottom that appears when you right click a tile. Again right click on the tile and then left click unpin from the start menu at the bottom. So again right click and then left click unpin from start. To add a tile to the Windows Start screen move your mouse to the bottom of the screen and right click. At the far right corner you have your all apps icon that appear left click on it and now you have a list of applications that are installed. This is the scroll button at the bottom, the scroll bar at the bottom. Move to the right and you'll be able to see the remaining icons that are installed. Move back to the left to see the icons that are listed at the beginning of the screen. So again you can right click on any application icon here and then you left click on pin to start to add that icon to the start screen. This icon will now appear as a tile on the start screen. You cannot select multiple applications at a time. You have to do them individually. If you notice, if I keep clicking on an application, my indicator will disappear. So you can only select one application at a time and pin it to the start screen. So again, right click an application left click on pin to start to add the application to the start screen. To return to the start screen, position your mouse in the lower left corner. You'll have your start screen icon appear or position your mouse at the bottom right 
and your charms menu will appear and then you can left click on the start icon that appear in the charm list. I will use the icon that appear at the left corner and click on the start menu. I've shown you how to resize the tile, move a tile from one group of tiles to another, as well as creating a group of tiles. We've pinned tiles to the start screen and we've removed them. Now let's go through the exercise of naming the group of tiles. We do so by pressing the control key and then using the scroll button on your mouse, scroll downward, let go of the control key, now position your mouse over a group of tiles and then you right click and then left click on name group. Type in the name for the group of tiles. I will name this group of tiles frequently used and then left click name. Again repeat by moving your mouse to the next group of tiles that you want to name. Right click on the group of tiles then left click on the name group icon that appears type in the name for the group of tiles. I'll type in miscellaneous for this group. Left click name. And then lastly here we have two other group of tiles. I'm going to leave one of the group of tiles without a name and then I'll add a name for the last group of tiles. Right click on the group of tiles, left click name group, and I'm going to name this group of tiles test. Now that we've finished naming the group of tiles and want to return to the window start screen. Again, we press and hold the control key. Using the scroll button on the mouse, we scroll upward. Now you notice that we have a name for all of the groups that we selected, frequently used, miscellaneous, test, and we left this group of tiles without a name. If you decide at a later date that you want to change the names because you've decided to change how you have the tiles organized, all you have to do is press the control key, use the scroll button on your mouse, scroll downward, let go of the control key, and now position your mouse over the group of tiles where you want to change the name. I'm going to remove the name from miscellaneous by right clicking on the group of tiles, left clicking name group, and deleting miscellaneous from the listing and then left click on name. Again I'm going to right click on the group of tiles that are named test, left click on name group and then remove the word test from the box, left click name and now I've removed that group name as well. I will leave frequently use this for this example. Now I'm ready to return to the window start screen. I press and hold the control key Using the scroll button on my mouse, I scroll upward and I let go of the control key and the mouse button. And now I've returned to the Windows Start screen. That is the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something from this quick exercise. You should now be able to customize the Metro UI by adding icons to the Start screen, removing them, changing the size of the tiles, adding a group name, removing a group name, repositioning the tiles, and creating new group of tiles. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.